Hello, we're here for CP3 Vocabulary Lesson 1. This week we have two root words, the first of which is bell, which comes from the Latin word meaning war. An example of a sentence using this root word would be Bellona was a little known Roman goddess of war. Her husband Mars was the god of war. The first word you may have heard of in your history class, antebellum. It's an adjective and it describes the period of time before a war, especially the American Civil War from 1861 to 1865. The second word is probably new to you, bellicose. It's an adjective. You could say it means warlike, aggressive, quarrelsome. An example would be Isis is Bellatos. They're aggressive and they're warlike. Our third word you've probably heard before, belligerence. It's a noun. It describes aggressive or combat combativeness in behavior. And the last word you've probably also heard, rebellion. It's a noun. It's open defiance and opposition. It can be from something that's small, like a two-year-old showing rebellion against his or her parents, all the way up to uh, society showing rebellion against the government. So it can, it can be used for a wide range of uh, situations. Our second root word is pack or peace. And it's related to the Latin word for agree and peace. An example, the Pacific Ocean, that is the peaceful ocean, was named by Magellan because it seemed so calm after the storm, storm near Cape Horn. Our first word is pacify. It's a verb. It's to soothe anger or agitation, to subdue by armed action. So to pacify, um, if you get in trouble for being home and missing your curfew, you may choose to pacify your parents by getting up the next morning and mowing the lawn. So it's some kind of, of action that's taken to smooth things out. Pacifist is a noun. It represents a person who opposes war or violence, especially someone who refuses to bear arms or to fight on moral or religious grounds. So there was a lots of pacifists during the different wars that the United States has been involved in, most notably Vietnam, when several people chose to avoid the draft and they moved to Canada based on the idea that they were pacifist are we refusing to bear arms. Then we have pact which is probably also known to you. It's an agreement between two or more people on or groups. It can be something as a as little as a pact that you have with your friends or a treaty or formal agreement between nations to deal with problems or to resolve disputes. And the last one is to appease to make peaceful and quiet, to calm, to satisfy. Sometimes when I put my dogs in their kennels, they really don't want to go, so I give them a treat to appease them, so they settle down and go to sleep. So these are our two root words for this week.